But I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the counselor, oh, we just talked about him, right? Will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. It is for your good. It's going to benefit you. It's better for you that I leave you. Just imagine this for one second. If the embodied Jesus could be here right now and just walk up to you in the fellowship, there's no way you wouldn't be in constant something. You would just be, wow. Jesus said it's better because I'm only, I'm embodied. I, I got one body. I, I can only be one place at one time. But when I leave, I can bring the spirit. Spirit can be in all y'all. And, and it's interesting how some of us sincerely never interact with the spirit of God. We have repented. Amen. We got baptized. Fired up. We got the gift of the Holy Spirit. Got it. And then you walk, you just go on your life. No consultation with the Spirit. No quiet your life and just listen for the Spirit. It's like the Spirit doesn't even really, he's not even real. Man, our enemy is so crafty. Hey, sin is crouching at your door, man. You got to take it seriously. It'll take you out. And we go, ah, sin. That's just an outdated concept. And we just go on and through life. And we wonder why we get stuck and things get stale and this or that. Well, probably because we have absolutely no relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hmm, the Spirit bears fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. How can I align my own life to where I'm walking by the Spirit? How can you bear the fruit of the Spirit? How can you lay your life before God and pray, God, bear the Spirit's fruit in my life. And it's not about the preacher telling you to go share your faith. It's just about, I'm, I'm walking by the Spirit. <laughs> That's what the Spirit does when He controls and dominates a life, Romans chapter 8. Oh, there's so many things we could talk about. I want to see us walking around with patience just popping out like a pear on a pear tree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like, man, that brother's patient. How is he patient? Oh, because he's so cool and smart. And no, it's because the Spirit is bearing fruit in his life. Well, how does that happen? Because he slows his life down and he, and he actually asks for the Spirit's consent. Say, Spirit, I'm open to you right now. I give you consent to do whatever you need to do in me to bear your fruit.